right guys what's up it's molly welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be another fitness vlog i have a lot of good stuff in this video i'm going to share with you guys how i make the best post gym drink ever and then i'm also going to share some of my amazon favorite leggings because i feel like i found a really good group of brands that i really have been enjoying and also some sports bras i've been loving so like a lot of workouts clothing my workout clothing essentials i'm going to share in this video and then tonight for dinner i'm making this poblano pasta green pasta that I've really been craving and it looks really good. So I feel like today's vlog has a lot going on in it and I'm very excited about it. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on my other YouTube channel, TikTok, all that good stuff because why not? Why not get more content from me in the meantime when I'm not always uploading on here? I'm so excited because today's video is sponsored by Joy Young. I've been using their self-cleaning blender for the last couple weeks and I'm so excited to finally share it with you guys. It's right back here on my counter it is unreal i'm so obsessed i haven't even like gone through all of the functions of it yet but everything that i've done so far i love the blenders back there i'm going to show you guys it in a second but it's the world's first self-cleaning blender so personally i love drinking an almond milk protein shake after the gym and i'm going to share with you guys how i use this blender to make fresh almond milk but also add protein to it it tastes like a dessert. You will never want to go back to store-bought nut milk after you try this because it is insane. And you can purchase this right on Amazon. I'm sure you guys have noticed I do not have much counter space in my kitchen. So having appliances that do cater to the fact that I don't have much space is super appreciated. I just love the way this looks. It's simplistic and like I said, it can fit really anywhere, which I love. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on even though I'm not going to use it yet just to show you guys all of the different options there are. Almond milk, oat milk, a smoothie, juice, soy milk. You can make soup in under 30 minutes. And then it also has a sterilization and a clean, which I'll show you guys later on because it's actually crazy that it cleans itself. One of the things I hate the most about making any type of smoothie or anything that involves a blender is the fact that I have to clean the blender afterwards. And the fact that it does it for me is so nice. With making traditional almond milk or oat milk, you have to normally soak the ingredients beforehand and it's a pretty pretty tedious process and with this it makes almond milk or oat milk whatever you feel like making in under three minutes the first time i did it i couldn't believe like it only took three minutes so when the blender came it also came with this little cookbook just to get started so that way you can become familiar with using it, the appliance because it made me realize how many possibilities there are with this machine like cashew oat milk almond milk of course there's pistachio almond milk which i really want to try because i love pistachios you can make almond milk cheese so this is super friendly for anybody who is vegan or lactose intolerant or just watches their dairy intake in general like me this is going to help you so much to be able to have so many more options at home and save money and it just tastes so much better than anything you could buy from the store you can even make your own green juice like i love how you can do all of these things in one machine versus having to buy like eight different machines to be able to make all of these things like you can even make soup i really want to try this because you guys know i love butternut squash so i want to try making this soup sometime soon because that sounds so good and they also have i think on the last page i saw tomato soup yes tomato soup tomato soup is my favorite soup of all time so i really want to try making that as well and like look at there's such minimal ingredients and i'm sure it tastes so good you can even make baby food in this so for families this is super user friendly it's just a very easy clean safe way to make all of these different things all right so in total besides water to make the best almond milk protein shake you have ever tasted you need five ingredients i have almonds right here if yours aren't roasted you're going to want to roast them beforehand in the oven but mine are already roasted and unsalted and then i have some cinnamon sea salt your choice of protein powder i'm using this one that's banana bread flavor so i've been switching it up i've done chocolate before i did the blueberry pie which was really good so today i'm gonna do the banana bread and then lastly just some honey i like to get nice fresh honey because it tastes even better you're also going to want a food scale because you want to make sure that you're using the right amount of almonds like the right ratio
Now that we have all the ingredients inside, we have the protein powder, cinnamon, salt, honey, and almonds, of course. And then I filled the tank in the back with how much water I want to do. I'm going to do the 600 milliliters today. Sometimes I do 30, sometimes I do 60. So I selected almond milk, and then we just need to change the ounces. So as you can see, there's three settings, 10, 20, 30. I'm doing the 20 ounces today. We have all the ingredients in here, and you guys will see in a second, a bunch of water is going to rush up into here. So yeah, now I'm just going to go ahead and press start, and you can see the three-minute timer. I'm going to do a little time lapse you guys can see exactly the whole process and everything All right, you guys, we have three seconds left and you can see the almond milk is all done. So now that I've removed the almond milk, you can see it is already starting to clean, you guys. Self-cleaning, it is so crazy. This takes about six and a half minutes. The first time I did this, I was wondering if it was actually gonna fully clean the whole thing. And it really does, see? It like starts to go kind of crazy. I'm so impressed with this thing, it's so cool. I like to just drink it on its own, but I feel like this would be really good as well in so many recipes, but specifically overnight oats. Instead of using like store-bought almond milk, this is just the way to go. So yeah, you guys, here is my finished protein almond milk. I've already been sipping on it. It's so good. Basically, like after the gym, I would just mix store-bought almond milk with protein powder. There is no comparison to this. This is like unreal. And I think I just feel so much better drinking this knowing exactly what went into it. Like, So in the long run, you're saving so much money and you're making something that is so much better for you than anything you could buy in the store. It literally tastes so good, so fresh, and it takes three minutes to make. Delicious, and as you can see, I have a lot extra. That's why I like to make a little bit more, so that way I don't have to do it every single day. And I just store this in my fridge and I can have it whenever I want, not even after the gym. It's very refreshing. It just tastes like a treat. You guys can purchase the Joy Young self-cleaning blender on Amazon. It's a really good price for all of the things that you can do with it. This is like the perfect blender for someone who, like I said, is vegan, dairy-free, families, since you can make so many different things like smoothies, soups, baby food. Literally the possibilities are endless, so I'm gonna leave the blender linked down below right at the top of the description box. You guys can go check it out. Trust me, once you try this almond milk and realize how good it tastes when you make it fresh at home, you are never gonna wanna go back to the store bought ever again. So thank you so much to Joy Young for sponsoring today's video, and I'll leave the link to go check them out in the description box down below. Hi guys, so it's a little while later. I tried to do something with my hair, but I just cannot wait to go blonde. I'm tired of the red at this point, and it's really testing my limits. And also I've been having problems with my contacts, so we're wearing glasses even though there's a glare going on. I wanted to sit down really badly and show you guys a bunch of my current Amazon favorites and also just workout stuff in general. I have a couple things from Gymshark and then also where I get like all of my t-shirts and like things that I wear to the gym because I'm really not comfortable. I'm not someone who feels comfortable wearing like a tight top and tight leggings or tight shorts. Like it's just not for me, it never has been. I'm more of like a tight bottom legging or shorts and then a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. That's just like how I roll and I feel like a lot of you guys like to dress like that as well. Yeah, everything I talk about, I'm gonna leave linked down below. Just being real with you guys, recently for the last like four months or so, my body has really been changing and I feel like I've been gaining weight unintentionally. Um, I'm not really eating or like doing anything out of the ordinary that I wouldn't have done in the past, but I think my body is just reacting differently as I'm getting older. And it's been a journey. It's been very difficult for me to accept that either I have to like train harder, stick to, you know, a more balanced diet, or just accept the fact that I'm going to gain weight if I continue on um, the way that I have been doing things. And it, it I don't know, it just is hard for me to 
accept and I think I've been struggling with that a little bit a lot of things that I have in my closet like don't fit me right now um, I'm someone who like my body just has always you guys know this it's pretty obvious on my channel my body is always fluctuating I'm always like gaining weight then losing weight it's just how my body is like I'll go through spurts where I don't really do much different my body will shed weight and then I don't do much different but my body will hold on to weight I should have said at the beginning that I would talk about weight a little bit but yeah I'm very like I'm in a different type of phase in my life right now where I'm just not as comfortable in my body so I've been ordering a lot of stuff on Amazon to feel better in the gym because I think it's really hard when you don't feel comfortable in your body and then on top of that you're wearing clothes that maybe are like a little bit too tight on you and you just like feel suffocated almost if anybody knows that feeling where you just feel almost like an out of body experience and I needed some new clothes to just at least feel comfortable in the clothes that I'm wearing and feel confident in them so that way I can have a good workout because I do not have a good workout if I feel uncomfortable and I guess if I just feel like tight clothes all over me it makes me feel very weird and not confident and then I have a bad workout but if I feel really good about myself I have a great workout and that's why I justify like ordering some things and most of these things are from Amazon really affordable and really good stuff like literally I do not need to order from Alpha Elite or any of those really expensive places that often because of the stuff that I got from Amazon. I feel like I just talked for forever. Why do I not learn to breathe when I'm talking? I want to get a couple more before I do like a full sit down video trying everything on. This is kind of just like a very casual version of that. So the first brand, this is the one that I think I heard about the most beforehand. A lot of people talk about it on TikTok. It's called Arola. This is what the back of the shorts look like. They're very similar to um, the Alpha Elite shorts, the Amplify shorts from Alpha Elite that everyone loves, but it's just a dupe and they're a lot more affordable. So I have these hot pink shorts. I got these in a size large and I really like the way they fit. I, from now on, I'm gonna order shorts in a size large, leggings in size medium because, I don't know, something about shorts being too tight on my thighs is really uncomfortable. So I got these in a large and they fit really well. Yeah, the color is really cute and they have a really nice like booty scrunch. If you're into that, this one is like a more intense booty scrunch, but it's really cute still. Um, and these are a good length too. They're not like too short where your butt is showing or anything. I have a pair of shorts from Alpha Elite that are like the same length, but they roll up on me so much that like my butt is out if I just make one wrong move. These don't do that. And then also the other pair that I have from Arola, I love these ones. It's like a nice chocolate brown. I've been on the hunt for a good chocolate brown legging for a long time and I feel like this is the perfect color I don't know the exact price of these but I know that they are like a little bit more pricey for Amazon but they're a good price for like a dupe of the Amplify leggings um, these are very thick though that's the only thing is they're not my favorite out of the ones that I have to show you guys because they are pretty thick I don't really like a thick legging I like something that feels like a second skin kind of like the Lululemon Align leggings those are like very thin and don't really feel like you're wearing anything super restricting if but if you like something that really sucks you in then you will like these they're just they're not like something I don't like but they're not my absolute favorite in the world it just depends on your preference okay now we're going to get into my favorite brands from Amazon I have four different items so far but I'm like constantly ordering from this brand because I love them so much so the brand name is called Tom Tiger guys these are so good I have very pretty colors right here and I just love these so much they are so affordable like some of them are like $20 some of them different colors or sizes are like 27 I feel like at most which is really good for leggings in my opinion and they're very thin so don't expect these to be like super thick leggings they're not see-through by any means as opposed to the Arola ones like this material is way thicker these are way heavier these are like a very light material 
material which is what I prefer in leggings I literally don't like feeling like a sausage you know like stuffed into leggings I like it to feel like a second skin that's when I feel the most comfortable and they do have like a booty scrunch but it's nothing too crazy so it's not like super noticeable I love this color this purple is just like everything you can see on the back it has like this laser cutout with a little like booty contouring I guess you could say kind of like a v-shape it's very flattering on the butt and I feel like leggings that are pretty thin are more flattering on the butts because you can really like move them around and get more comfortable with them okay, this is the first pair this was the first pair that I bought and once I bought these I was hooked and I ordered more this is the other pair of leggings that I have so far but trust me you guys I will be ordering so many more in the coming weeks because I'm obsessed here's the back of these ones you can kind of see the scrunch maybe a little bit better this color is so good it's like a blue green I don't even know how you would describe this color but it's perfect so pretty and then these are the shorts they are the perfect length so comfortable they're not gonna be tight on your thighs if you have thicker thighs I honestly don't I wish I did but if you do have thicker thighs they're not gonna be like cutting off circulation like they're super stretchy just like literally the perfect short perfect legging I love this color this is like my favorite color probably this blue but then look at how pretty this like baby blue is I've worn these a lot honestly these four pairs that I have from Tom Tiger I've probably worn each of them at this point like 10 times each because every time they come out of the wash I'm like I'm gonna wear those again like I look at my whole drawer full of a ton of leggings and I always pick out this brand because they're so good and the last pair of shorts that I have to show you guys don't actually fit me unfortunately I should have gotten these in a large but they're just way too tight but I love the tie-dye on them it's like so perfect um, and I see a lot of girls on TikTok wearing these as well so that's why I ordered them but I just should have gotten a large instead of a medium because it's too tight on my like waist and hip area it feels too constricting the color is so pretty and that's why I wanted to show you guys them because sometimes I see tie-dye also sorry if you heard the leaf blower outside that is so annoying but anyways sometimes I see tie-dye and I'm like it's too much but then this one is like the perfect happy medium like it's bright but not too out there I just thought I would mention if you do get these maybe order up a size because they are a little bit small it took some time to wait for the leaf blower to go further away to a different building but now that I've shown you guys all of the leggings that I love I'm just gonna share my new favorite sports bra so I got this from Gymshark I got these in a medium and I will say maybe I'm just like going up a size but I swear everything that I've got in recently has just been running small because this is a medium sports bra and I'm normally a medium and a lot of my other sports bras are medium and they fit me fine so I don't know if it's running small all I'm saying is I got mediums and they are a little tight on me I still wear them but if I ordered again in more colors I would probably get a large but I believe this is called from Gymshark the minimal sports bra I'm gonna leave the exact one that I got down below because they have a lot of really similar ones but you guys this is the best sports bra ever I do have like c cup boobs so i have a little bit of boob on me and i want something that at least holds them in now i ran out of storage but when i'm doing cardio and stuff like that i need something that at least holds the girls up a little bit and that's why i love these sports bras so i have them in black and white the material of it is specifically what i like the most it is so soft it's like literally buttery soft i'm obsessed and it has like this really flattering scrunch down the middle so if you're someone who just wears like your sports bra and leggings to the gym more power to you i can't wait for the day that i feel comfortable enough to do that but if you do just wear your sports bra this is such a cute one to wear because it's like really flattering and just it looks sexy almost because it's like very minimal i don't know i feel like i'm not gonna buy any other type of sports bras than ones like this that are just like very simple and I can wear them with every pair of leggings and shorts that I own. I just thought I would mention that because I don't own many things from Gymshark. I've never really been someone who was on the Gymshark train, but these sports bras that I've seen everyone wear are worth the money. They are so good. The very last thing I wanted to touch on was all of my tops because I wear a lot of t-shirts and I get so many DMs asking where I get them from because I feel like it's hard to find cute graphic tees that aren't from like Abercrombie that are $50. I just wanted to show you guys where I get a lot of my stuff. I would say the top places are Amazon, 
Boohoo and Pretty Little Thing to get gym t-shirts and sweatshirts. I like when I wear an outfit that kind of is monochromatic or matching or has like some tie-in of like the perfect color combo. If I wore this pink shirt, for instance, I would wear it with either like this because it has pink in it or these because it's like another version of pink and it's like a cute little matching pink fit moment. I'm going to show you a couple more examples of what I mean. If I can find these exact t-shirts and sweatshirts, I'll leave them linked down below for you guys. But honestly, I'm just always browsing Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo, even Boohoo Men because Boohoo Men has way cuter stuff. I think this is Boohoo Man. Yeah, Boohoo Man. They have really cute t-shirts and I stock all of their stuff all the time. This is one of the ones that I got from Boohoo. This is Boohoo Man. Really cool little print on it and you can see it has all these colors in it, right? Like guys, this blue matches the blue on the skull perfectly. This is a fit. This is what I like. I like things that match but it isn't like a matching set if you know what I mean. Also, I wear these purple leggings with this t-shirt all the time because it has purple in it and it just looks really good together like this is what I'm all about and this makes me excited to go to the gym when I have stuff that matches like this a couple other t-shirts this one is the same as the pink just in brown so if I wear this brown shirt you guessed it I wear the brown leggings with it and you have this cute monochromatic fit so I'm sure you guys are seeing a pattern here but look at this t-shirt this one's a little smaller less oversized I think this is from pretty little thing but still super cute you can see it has like a little car on it honestly I don't really pay attention to what they have on them that much literally the car the color of the car matches like these shorts almost perfectly so you can wear these together and you have a fit or if you don't want to wear those ones you can wear these perfect fit matches spectacular um if i do get zip ups i really like this one this is from boohoo just like a nice oversized baby pink and then this one i'll definitely link down below i want to order more of these this is just from the brand i think it's fruit of the loom you guys fruit of the loom i got a large men's zip up black hoodie i wear this so much i think it was literally 15 dollars so worth the money it's so soft and comfortable and i just wear it with like all of my gym outfits and then the last sweatshirt i have to show you guys is this one from i think this is boohoo it could be pretty little thing though it's one or the other it's like this nice tan color and then on the back just wait for it you guys like i mean come on it matches it's identical guys when i wear this with these <gasps> are you kidding are you kidding? It matches so perfectly. I don't know if that was boring or if you guys enjoyed that, but those are like all of the things that I've been wearing recently. Literally, if you take one thing away from this video, get Tom Tiger leggings or shorts because you will become obsessed. If you like like the Lululemon Align type of leggings where it's more thin of a material, you will love these. And they are not see-through at all, which I love as well. So that is everything that I've been wearing to the gym. I'm going to leave it all linked down below for you guys everything that i can find because it's all just such good stuff let me know if you guys have any other amazon recs of like brands that you think i should try out since i like these tom tiger ones if you have any similar brands to this let me know because i'm all about the amazon workout train because i just can't be spending all of this money on like a hundred dollars on one pair of lululemon leggings like i just can't be doing that and i don't think a lot of people can afford to do that so let's all help each other out and find the dupes on amazon i have some cleaning up to do around my apartment and then we're gonna make a pasta dish in a little bit that i'm really excited for so stay tuned for that hello everyone it's a few hours later since i last vlogged and i'm about to actually make i feel like a fun different dinner so i definitely wanted to film it hopefully this turns out okay i've never made something specifically like this but i've been craving it even though i've never even tasted anything like this i don't think i've just really been wanting this ever since i saw a tiktok or a youtube video i forget which one somebody was making this recipe like very similar to it and i don't even know exactly what they put in their recipe i'm kind of just going based off of what i saw and what i remember so we'll have to see it's like a green sauce pasta with a chicken cutlet like crusted on the side i'm gonna get all the ingredients and we're gonna get started because i'm getting very hungry it's like a rainy day out and i just want a nice cozy meal so i feel like pasta with chicken and just like a little spiciness to it is the perfect thing so yeah let's get started hopefully 
this turns out okay. All right, so the first step is the one thing I've never done before, and that is roasting peppers on the gas stove. Or you can do this in the oven as well, I'm pretty sure, or on a grill if you have one. I've never done this before, but I've seen a ton of people do it before. So I have three poblano peppers, and then I have two jalapenos. I'm gonna roast both of these up on the gas, like straight on the gas stove, and get them nice and black on the outside. And then they're gonna go straight into a bowl with a lid on it. So that way they can steam for like 10 minutes. You could also put them in a bag as well if you have like a Ziploc bag. I just don't have one, so hopefully a bowl with a lid is gonna work just as well. I'm gonna dip this paper towel into some olive oil and just kind of rub it on ever so slightly. Um, I'm gonna do this step first because like I said, I've never done this before, so this is what I'm most nervous about. So I wanna get it out of the way right away. Mm -hmm. 